How to create a drop down menu in Shopify Dawn theme. Hello, guys, and welcome to this new tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you how you can make a drop down menu into your Shopify store and especially into the Dawn theme. So, it is very easy and very simple. All you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning to the end, and you are going to be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to head over to Shopify.com. Then you are simply going to sign in for your account. As you can see here, after you have signed in into your account, you are going to get the access to the admin dashboard. So once you are here, simply go to the sales channels and then select the online store from Shopify. So here, the first thing that you need to do is to head over the themes and select the Dawn theme. You can go ahead and use it for any of the themes that you have. But in my case, I will go ahead and select only the, the Dawn theme. So right there, after you have set up the Dawn theme, we're going simply to open up the customizer right away. And we are going to wait for the Shopify store uh, website uh, or store builder to open up. Now we are going to see here the menu. As you can see, we have a menu here. I'm going to delete all of the uh, non-significant ones right there so as you can see here we have the menu and we have here a drop down menu how we can create this type of drop down menu we're going to head over the dashboard of shopify and from the sales channels itself we are going to select the navigation item or menu from this uh, mega menu so we are going to select the navigation and now we are going to see the menus. We have here the footer menu, which is going to be located at the end of your store, which is this one. We have also the main menu, which is going to have the catalog, the home, the contact, and the blog, which is the main menu right there at the top or the header. And also we have uh, the uh, Jack's test menus that I have created already. So if you want to create a separate menu and not modify this one, you're going simply to click on add menu and name it. After that, you're going to add the items to it. So instead of that, I'm going to set this uh, trick or this feature or this drop down menu into our existing menu. So we have here our blog, as you can see, and also we have it right away. So I'm going to delete that. So it will no longer be a, a drop down menu. So I'm going to show you how we can do that from scratch. So we are going to uh, uh, here refresh it again. I think that I haven't saved yet. So here we have it. We are going simply to uh, save or refresh the page until we see no drop down menu. And here it is. So here we have it right here. And now we are going to head over the main menu again. And so we are going to see the menu items. We are going to get them right here. So now let's say that we are going to add some pages to these items. So we are going to head over the pages. And then we can go ahead and add multiple pages right there. For example, here I'm going to add maybe a uh for example let's say here blog or uh blog post or not blog post so we have these kind of pages uh, available you can go ahead and add any page that you want here because you are going to link it to another uh, item from the menu so we are going to set up here news and the content is going to be here a uh, blank so we are going to add only the page now we are going to head back to the navigation, select the main menu again, and then we're going to add a menu item. So we are going to name it, for example, news. And then we are going to click on search or paste a link. And for that, we're going to select the pages. So you can go ahead and link to whatever element that you have or page. For my case, I have only uh, created this one, so I will let you see how we can add the, uh, that manually from the page and also the menu item. You have it here. Now for uh, the menus or the news, I'm going to add it to the blog. 
So we are going to add this uh, menu and make it a sub menu for the blog. And with that, we are going to create the uh, drop down menu. So we are going to head over the blog and then we're going to uh, make it a little bit to the right side or balance it to the right side. And here we have it. So as you can see here, we have a drop down menu. So let's go ahead and add a menu, another menu to uh, or an item to here. So we are going to name it, for example, test, not test, but we are going to make it like we have in news. We have, for example, of for, of for example, opportunity, opportunities. And then we can go ahead and make it to something else. For example, for the blog, I'm going to set up here the uh, let's say here tech blog, maybe like that. We're going to leak something, and now let's go ahead and add another thing like maybe uh, something like here uh, tech. And then we are going to select here from the pages of the blog. Here we have tech blog news about tech. And then we are going to select here. Uh, maybe we are going to name products, for example, shoes. And then we are going to select uh, here from these a collection. So we are going to select a collection. And also I'm going to add something else like shirts. Because I want to add them to the catalog right there. So here you can go ahead and uh, select maybe from the collection shirts. Click on add. And finally, we have here the last one, which is going to be maybe digital products. So right there, we are going to select the product and maybe we are going to add this one. So now for the tech, I want to add it to the blog. So we are going to have it here. Boom. Now for the opportunities, we're going to add maybe the shoes. So we are going to have it here. And now we are going to add a sub sub menu. So now uh, here we are going to add the shirts here under the catalog and also the digital products under the catalog also. Now let's go ahead and add the sub sub category. So we are going to remove the shoes from this and we are going to add it into maybe this particular one. So we have here a another thing. So we are going to click on save. Here we have created the first year of the menu, which is the menu and a sub menu. And here, this is the sub menu and here, we have created a sub menu followed with another sub menu, which is a sub sub menu. Here we have a sub menu and here we have another sub menu. And here we have the sub sub menu, which is the second tier of the menus. So I'm going to let you see that in details in a few seconds. So here we have the store. I have visited the store. So if you want to visit your store, you are going to hover the mouse above, above here, the online title or the online store. And click on the eye here right there and it will show you your store so now we are going to see the main menu we have the catalog and when you click on it it will show up here a drop down menu or either a mega menu so we are going to make the drop down menu as a drawer which is going to be better than the mega menu so we are going to head over the theme editor and now we are going to see here the menu. I'm going to uh, remove this modifier. Now we're going to see the uh, menu. So we are going to see the header. And then we're going to see the menu, which is this one. You can go ahead and choose the menus that you have created from here. Uh, but here we are going to select the drop down instead of the mega menu. You can also make it as a drawer, but here we have it. So you can go ahead and see this. This is a drop down menu. And also, this is a drop down menu. So you are going to click on save. Now we are going to refresh our store page. And as you can see, you are going to click on catalog. It will it, uh, drop down a menu here. 
This is the first two items. If you click on the shirts, it has also a sub menu, which is going to be a drop down menu also for this specific one. And for the blog, also we have two items. You're going to click on it and here we have it. It will take you to the specific page that you have selected. So that was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one.